Forget Airbnb, no cottage. <laughs> tutors like you know little fighters you get it <laughs> today's makeup topic is surrounded by powering through we are starting off with a face wash and you think i'm gonna get messy over the sink i think not i'm gonna hop in the shower and refresh my whole body um just so we don't have to get water splashing everywhere and that's more clean up plus it's a great way to just freshen up my whole body at this point it is 6 p.m i've been awake for 12 hours we had a whole work day yes i did a work day i came home i studied and now we're getting ready to go to the auto show with brandon so we're gonna try and look a little bit more alive for his favorite thing in the world done i usually do a little face massage when i'm into this just to lighten up my facial muscles <laughs> to detense it come in oh are we eating at home first mm -hmm. mm, up to you doesn't matter why are you naked want to say hi to youtube hi youtube um, I figured that nobody would be seeing my waist down, so it was fine. I was just, you know, airing things out after the shower, you know? Okay, we're starting off with a hyaluronic acid serum. I like to wash my hands in between because I don't like to mix and match any of the stuff in my fingers, especially this one, the Neutrogena Hydra Boost Gel Cream. This is my third bottle. That's how good it is. I don't want to use dirty fingers to dip it in, so... You know, I wash my hands first. And again, we're doing a little massage just to get the systems and, you know, all that good stuff on your face flowing through. This is my first ever makeup tutorial. So this is actually not that bad. I had a lot of fun making it. Oh, me wash my hands again. I think I'm inspired to do more because there's just not enough Asian beauty creators out there. Oh, I usually use sunscreen too. But since, you know, it's literally pitch black here in Toronto because it's February and it's winter and it's cold and it's, you know, borderline depressing. We don't need sunscreen. We're going to fan this out because I use a little too much gel cream because my face has been extra dry these days. So instead of foundation, since we're just trying to look a little bit more alive without the heavy makeup because I'm really going to go back to bed after the auto show, we are using this Dr. Jart Tiger Grass Color Correcting Treatment. I was inspired to use this by Erica Titus. I thought it was amazing because just watch. Just watch it. It starts off green. It's a bomb. It's not foundation or anything and it just blends in i use a little bit too much but it still blends in really well i just have to really massage it in because it's really thick but it stays on my face and it basically color corrects all of my redness which is my main issue especially around my nose my forehead and even a bit on the cheeks i thought the name tutors because i was like hey babe what should we call like my youtube like fan people and he's not very creative so he just you know he farted he's like oops sorry babe and i was like oh tutors is a cute name so we're gonna stick with this for a little bit and see how it goes Ooh, next we're using rare beauty's blush called adore this is the mini version that i think i got two years ago for a free birthday package oh no is it no i think i got it free with my points on sephora so he <laughs> love you sephora love you rare beauty what I hate about this and love about it is that it's so pigmented, but as you continue to blend, it completely blends out. Just watch. I don't know about you guys, but if you know about the drama that's happening, I'm all the way hashtag Team Selena. My sister and I grew up watching Waverly Place and all of Selena's shows, and we are diehard Selena Gomez fans. Okay, my sister bought me this um, highlighter palette literally over five years ago. I can't remember when. And I just haven't had the heart to get rid of it to buy a new one because I'm just so indecisive about which one is a good highlighter. But I will fill my Sephora basket and I will have a haul for you guys. Trust me. So this one, I don't even know what brand it is because she literally went to this um, convention center. This huge warehouse where they sell a bunch of makeup at like a very discounted price. So she got me that and I've been using it ever since and it's been fine. So I mean, my face is fine. Okay, this... I hate this. I love this. I hate TikTok for this. I've been using this mascara for years and years and years. And TikTok blew it up literally like a month ago. And I'm worried. I'm worried they're going to increase prices. But I got something cool I'm going to show you guys later. I got this three pack from Costco. And it's a steal. I don't remember the price. But I remember it was a good price. Because one of these mascaras is literally, I want to say $14 now. I don't use mascara often, but after using this, I realized I really need to get my lashes lifted because no matter what, my lashes will not stay curled. Okay, lip lab. 
me and Lena went to go get our, or we went to customize our own lipsticks. So I got mine in a nice nudie color called Too Dang Cool. That's the shade if you want to know. <laughs> and it's a magnetic um, lid and it smells minty. It's my first time using it with you guys. So I think it's perfect for a more very minimal makeup. Look, y'all, I'm just trying to stay alive at this point because the convention center has a lot of bright lights for the auto show is. And there's all these shiny cars. And I just wanted to have enough energy and look like I am enjoying it all. Because when I look dead, I look dead. I know. My hair needs treatments. I literally went for a hair appointment a few days after this. So we're good. The next video I have... My hair will be done. <laughs> Thanks for watching, guys. Love you. Mwah.